except that maybe our minds aren't supposed to understand. If God is Qadim, then how do we ascribe to him a ta'alluq uh, al-qudra uh, al-hadith or al-hadith at tanjizi that occurs in time and place? How are the created events of the world ascribed to a pre-eternal being? Thank you for this clarification. Very good question. Extremely good question. Um, and we didn't talk about this actually, but qudra, power, it has uh, two relations. There's some difference of opinion about that. But it has one which is suluhi qadim. In other words, that divine power from pre-existence is sufficient to create anything. Anything in the realm of possible being. Okay, and this is very important because God is creator before creation. The Maturidis have a different way of talking about that. They have what they call tekween. And we won't get into that, but it's very interesting. Because Al-Maturidi is trying to solve this in another way. This is a big problem. And for us, we say that Qudra has the ability to create in time and space. And it has another ta'alluq, which is tenfidiyun hadith. It is efficient and temporal, meaning that power actually creates you in this moment of time and place. And this is just to say that God is the creator and he can create. And the problem here is no different from the problem that pertains to God's knowing everything in possible being. And God's will surveying everything in possible being and deciding that this is the wisest and best and it will be and the other one will not be. Now, this is the aspect of multiplicity, which in the world of haqqa'iq is a reality of heaven and hell. You know, again, I just put that out there. It maybe makes no sense. But th this is what that is talking about, is the infinite possibilities of all possibilities, those that will be in this world and those that will not. Okay, so um, let's...